G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18 where I'm back to continue the Doomsday series. And today is going to be a big day full of lots of changes. The first change right off the bat is something very, very important and very, very uh, brave of me to make a change to something that's been working for me so well for so long. The wonderful purple SMG, my best friend that has got me through so much of this apocalypse so far, is finally being retired. He's had a hard life. He's had a very difficult life. I've definitely put him through his paces, but it's time for me to hang up that pistol grip trigger and put it away and actually replace it with another pistol grip. Look at that. The AK-47 that we... That's the wrong with that one. Put you in there. The AK-47 that we found in the army base just the other day, I've loaded it up with all of the mods. So, you know, I've got, I've got blue dye on there because I feel, I feel bad taking the purple dye off the SMG. I feel like it needs to retire covered in the glory that it always has. So we've got the, the blue die, uh, the foregrip, the silencer, drum mag, and the stock. Now, that was actually the tipping point. That was the reason I went to the AK over the SMG. Because I could take the sprods of the SMG, but I couldn't put the stock on it. Whereas this one, I can replace those sprods with the uh, with the stock uh, mod, which means I'm going to have better handling and also do more damage. So it's pumping out 67 damage per round. So a nice couple of clean headshots should do the trick for me. It's a sad time. I feel bad about leaving SMG behind. But I'm sure we can press on. The other thing that I've done overnight is I've crafted myself a to uh, four, it's done now actually, a four times scope. I expect that to have a couple more seconds left. That's all right. I talked it too long at the start. A four times scope mod, which is going to go onto my M60. So grab you. Let's go modify and bang you straight onto there. Where, 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 where did you? Oh, it was, it's just there actually. Can I not put? Oh, that's a wandering horde, though. Speaking of speaking of things to do today, interesting. I need to get out there and make sure they're coming down the hallway to come and try and get me. Can I not put on my um the four times scope mod onto my uh, onto my M60? If I can't, that's kind of upsetting. Oh god, they're all really quick. I came out of here to try to draw them out, which seems to have worked. Keep on running, keep on running, and then make the jump. Hop across to there. All right. Well, uh, the AK-47 is about to get uh, well, put through its uh, trials very early. Although I do have the M60. Don't have many rounds on me, but whatever. That'll be fine. Why can't I put the um the four times scope mod onto the M60 though? While the horde's running around out there, it, do it, do it doesn't have the gears. I can't even. All right, never mind then. I guess I made that bloody scope for no reason. All right, here we go, AK. It's your time to shine. Bang. Oh, first shot with the first kill. Oh, missed the second one though because he's bobbling all around. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's reasonable. The iron sights are good. It's got a nice front post. All right, well, I'll murder all these muppets. I'll go back inside and show you what else is going on. This day has started off very quickly. Wasn't expecting a wandering horde this early in the day. Here we go. Last one. Goodbye, Nancy. It's been a pleasure. All right. So the corridor is working, which is always nice. I only made that bloody four times scope to put on the M60. I thought that was the one that could go on it. Are there no sights that go on the M60 then? That's a bit of a shame, but all right, whatever. We'll deal with that as we come to it. All right, let's just keep on moving on though. Let's put the M60 back in there. I don't need it. I've got a nice big stack of 7.62s, which is good. So yeah, 7.62 now is the only ammo I need. I have a little bit of, a, of nine millimeter. If I want to, I can go back to it for a horde night, I suppose. But 7.62s are now my bread and butter. The other thing I need to do today is go to Trady Potato and sell some stuff. I've already loaded up the motorcycle downstairs with all of the things to sell, but these tier sixes here are full of mods. Well, Three grand for an iron reinforced club. Four and a half grand for steel chest armor. And three and a half grand for steel sludge. So they're all loaded up. Everything else is just going to get sold. Make some bank again and see if we can buy something fun and something good. I need to make sure I'm not actually putting this stuff away. Let's go eight. There we go. And then when we come back home, I spent the skill points I got out of Horde Knight. This is a lot of uh, a lot of housekeeping stuff at the start of the episode. I know. I spent the, uh, the points I got to Horde Knight upgrading my archery to tier four. So I can now craft a tier five quality bows. So I'm going to upgrade my compound crossbow to be a tier 5 one as soon as I get enough forged steel to do it. I need like 90 I think it was. I've got 45. Yep, sure. Craft another 48. That'll get me where I need to be. You've got plenty of time left. Yes, you do. I think I think it was it was 90, was it? Compound, but no, compound crossbow. Oh no, only 45 for you. Oh, it was 90 for the um for the garage doors, wasn't it? Okay, well I need to craft them anyway. Let's grab you. While I'm here, let's just get this started. So I'll come back later and pick up the new bow. We want to get that crafting before I leave today. I was just a little shy on the duct tape, so quickly craft up six of those. That should give me the full nine that I need. Hurry up, please. God, 10 seconds takes so long when I'm waiting for my brand new bow. 
Um, I think I think I've got everything I need to sell. I made sure that before the day, the day started, I had everything on me. There we go. Compound crossbow. Make you, please. Oh, look at that. Tier 5, goodness. Get you crafted. Gonna take four minutes, but that's okay. I'll come back for that a little bit more later on. Open the door, please. There we go. Jump on the bike, and away we go. Off on another grand adventure. Make sure I did actually load up all the stuff I need into the motorcycle before I properly leave. Got my magnum. Got all the stuff to sell. All right. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go back north. The north trader is the closest one. Head back to him. Whip out my big broomstick. Try and threaten him into some better prices, and hopefully we'll be able to come home with something good. I'm not sure what I want to buy from him, if there is anything. Any sort of, like, literature, as always, is a good go. But there's no actual items I'm pining for. Anything that catches my fancy, though, at least I'll have the money to buy it. Things like uh, ammo-making materials, especially. Need to make sure I'm preparing for the next Horde Night now, so I'm not in a frantic rush, like always, coming in when the number's red. If I get enough time at the end of the day, uh, this should be like, this should be trading restock day, I think. I think that the day 30, day 31 definitely was day 34, which means day 37 should be the next one, I think. So this might be trading restock day. If not, I had to come back here anyway to get all the stuff. Uh, do I have, I've, I brought all those materials with me. That was really stupid, Josh. You've, look at all the space taking up. Gonna have to make seven trips now into Trader Potato to sell all this garbage. Silly, silly, silly boy. Whatever, we'll deal with that later. I'll take all of that. I'll come back in a second to get the rest of that. I promise, make sure I'm uh, wearing my XP goggles. I need to get my Magnum before I go inside. I'm sure people were just about to type a very angry comment about how much of a clown I was being. But it's like, hey, look, I have the Magnum and I'll even actually equip it this time. Here we go. What up? Knackers. I've got so much stuff for you, but first and foremost, I did a quest for you. $350 reduce. Wasn't even worth it. Uh, ooh, that one's a bit better, though. 7,500 experience, $1,800 reduce. Now, I'm full of gubbins. I might have to... Ooh, flaming arrows. That's kind of tempting. I might have to get those rewards for you in a second, because I need to sell all of this. Like, all this random garbage here is going to get sold. Getting lots of XP, which is good. Yes, look, it's all freeing up my inventory space. Look at the dollar reduce we're getting. Already up to 12 grand. And 20... Oh, look at that. Two stacks. Oh, it's a good sight. It's a happy sight. I'm a happy boy seeing that goodness. Okay, now that we've sorted out our inventory, we've gone from no monies to lots of monies. $35,000 reduce. And I still got some stuff. Like, I've kept all my tier 6 stuff that wasn't full of mods. I kept that back at the house to sell another day. So I've probably got like 50 Gs worth of uh, assets, I suppose. Uh, what I want out of you. I'll take the flaming arrows because you're worth a pretty penny. I could use them, but I don't have a bow. If they were crossbow bolts, maybe. It feels weird to be looking for crossbow bolts as opposed to arrows that I normally use. All right, you sell all of those. Yes, please. Make sure all that's all nice and set up. Oh, straight off the bat, you have two motion sensors. I'll buy both of you. Thank you very much. All right, off to a good start, mate. What else have you got for me? Oh, you got gunpowder. Yeah, this is so much better. So I'm definitely, I feel like I'm definitely saving money buying the materials to make my ammo rather than, you know, buying the actual 7.62s from him as like a, a, a pre-assembled unit. This is definitely a better way to go about it. I'm saving money there. And like, I've got the whole, like uh, the crafting system set up back home. Well, I don't have to worry about it. You know, it's making my ammo for me while I'm off having pretty terrible adventures out through the rest of the world. Um, nothing else in there, is there? No, there's not. All right, check the mod slots. Nothing there. What's in your secret stash? <gasps> Urban Combat Volume 7. That might be a book that I... I think might be the last one of that series, actually. Take five less damage and deal 5% more damage when indoors. Sure, it's a book I haven't read. Buy that goodness. Reflex Sight Mod. Already read it. Thank you very much. Uh, turrets, no, still feel a bit iffy about the turrets and the demolisher nipples. Don't want to go triggering any of those bad boys. Form grip mod, already got one. Although, actually, before I do anything, I'm going to pull the, uh, the form grip mod off of you and just see... No, I can't put the uh, the foregrip mod onto the onto the compound the, uh, crossbow. But, like I need to start thinking about what mods I'm actually going to use when I get my compound crossbow. Uh, quickly re reload that before I need it and it's not loaded because I don't know what actually goes in it. I'll find out eventually, I suppose. All right, what else have you got in here, mate? I'm I'm ready to buy. Just give me the option. Oh no, I still need one more book. Book four: Sneak Landings Make Less Sound and Sneak Jump Height is not. Oh, that's a really good book. I'm excited to find that one at some point. But I'm gonna read that one right now. So one more book in the Urban Combat series and then we're good to go uh, make sure that stack is all there nice and easy now you didn't have anything left in your secret stash or so check the secret other secret stash the doubly secret stash what have you got for me here probably not, nothing as good but it's worth a check anyway 44 magnum schematic sure why not i'll buy that one my pistol level is actually pretty good i think that affects the, the magnum i mean it's a pistol after all you would think so um oh and some forged steel i mean 
Oh, it's three thousand dollars though. Oh yeah, no, nah, maybe not. I've got a little craft back home. I don't need to buy it from you. I just thought it might be a bit more convenient, but not at that yeah, price. Yeah, I'm back ooh, now. Ooh. Actually, wait. Before I do anything else, I think I just saw at the very end there. Steel crossbow bolts. Yep, yep. Thank you. Okay, so I had a couple on me. Now I'm up to sixty-four. That's good. See, buying some ammo from him is worth it. Yes, I can make it back home, but it just takes so long. It's still so expensive. The next trading potato. I mean, I'm not here to sell anything this time. I'm just here. I think I might have a quest with him actually. Do I? Uh, uh, no, I don't. But yeah, the, uh, I'm just here to see if you've got anything good for me. Now that I have those two You're different secret stashes, I quite here. like checking them both. Uh, what have you got for me? Anything in here? But I do need some bullet tips. Old man, the last one didn't have anything for me. Just had the gunpowder and the bullet casings, which actually isn't that bad for me at all. You don't really have much at all for me, though. Wow, you have less than the last one. That's saying something. The last one had basically zero. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's just search for it then. Tip, no, nope, nothing there. Can't even find just the tip. Nothing in the mods. All right, uh, pretty pretty disappointing, if I'm honest. You do have cement, though. That's reasonably cheap. 450 or 600 cement. Yeah, okay, might as well take that. Might as well start buying some of these materials. I normally get them from uh, from raiding POIs and stuff, but it's quicker and, and easier just to buy it. And lots of people in the comments have been telling me to buy it from here because it's so cheap. And I agree, very cheap, so definitely worth it. What's in your secret stash for me? Steel tool schematic, already got it. Nah, nothing good. Oh, yes, something good. Night Stalker Volume 7 do an extra 50% damage to sleeping victims at night. I'll buy that, given that sometimes, actually, more often than I'd really like to be, Thank I'm getting caught survivor. out in the wilderness check trying to soon. raid POIs Get when the sun's gone down. Day. Put on the nerdy glasses, check your secret stash again. What have you got this time? Weapons handling book. Ra uh, fully automatic mode has an increased chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Done. Buy that one. Shotgun choke mod. Oh, already had that one, actually. Whatever, I'll read it again. That's a bit of wasted coin, but I've got so much now. Doesn't doesn't really matter to me. St uh, tier 2 steel spear. No, thank you. Anything else in here? Any more books? No, all books that I've already read. I'm not going to buy them again. <gasps> oh. NVGs are going to be a really good option because I. So when I'm like raiding somewhere at night, I have to turn on my helmet light, which wakes up zombies. But the NVGs mean I wouldn't have to do that. That's pretty bloody tempting. You know what? Fuck it. I'm rich. Let's do it. Let's just buy shit for the sake of it. Who doesn't want a set of night vision goggles? That'd be so much fun. Uh, that's all done there. Make sure I didn't miss any casings. No, nothing there. What about gunpowder? No, nothing there. Okay. Well, how? what slot do the NVGs go into then? Do they replace my nerdy glasses, I suppose? They do. Oh, God. It's real bright and glary. It's supposed to be better at nighttime. Let's not burn out our corners just yet. All right. Okay, fine. Yep, no. Nah, I've just... Uh, Sort out all of this stuff then. Let's make sure that I'm not uh, running the risk of dropping this somewhere where I don't realize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Okay, so the whole top row is now equipment, and I've got four rows underneath to st store everything in. All right, that's fair enough. Read you. Just made the normal sound. Wasn't the last book. Read you as well. All right, let's uh, keep on going. All right, today is actually going pretty well. I've wanted the VGs for a while. That's uh, that's a good get. I forgot to mention before, but the other reason that I, uh, I upgraded to the AK-47 and left the SMG behind is uh, the last couple of days since I increased the difficulty to insane, I've had a lot more trouble killing uh, a lot of zombies, especially like any feral military zombies. Any ferals with a helmet don't go down in one or even two shots sometimes. They are a nuisance and a half as I crash my motorcycle like the freaking rock star that I am. So I, I wasn't doing enough damage even on sleeping targets. So I wanted to upgrade that to try and hit a little harder, do a bit more damage right off the cuff, and hopefully save my life in some sort of like situation die, coming up. Plus, bigger drum mag, I can still spray and pray, but I just might get, I hit a little harder, which might be a good option going forward. Right, what have you got for me? Anything in here? Always gotta check all your stuff. One lockpick. Yeah, nah, mate. Gunpowder, though. Only 20. That's all right, though. It all adds up in the end. More motion sensors. Don't have any more of those. Mechanical parts. Yeah, and, ooh, got some coal. No, I've got plenty of coal, so I've got to mind a whole bunch of it. Uh, ooh, pop bombs. Ooh, man a challenge. I'll buy you. So they're pretty good because I can go and activate it, then kill them later. That's that's fine with me. Just like kind of activating those quests and working on it as I go about my business. That's a good way to do it, I think. His regular secret stash has two books. What have you got? Guide to Archery Volume 5 by you and Hunter's Journal Volume 1. 10% more damage to bears. That's a good book to read. It's funny, but the first page of that book is probably like aim between the ears and the eyes. The big long snout. Try and put a bullet into that because I couldn't feel that by myself. You do have a two-time scope mod on you. I mean, 
I, I, I'm going to buy... It's $189. It's pretty cheap. I'll buy it anyway, just in case that's the one that can go on the M60. Maybe you can't put the 4 times or the 8 times because you can't put the 8 times on a lot of things, only on rifles. Maybe it's the same with the M60. Maybe the 2 times scope is the one that will work. Worth a crack. For $190 reduce, I've spent more money on stupider things. All right, I'm now fine that we're with done that. Doing right, business, what, uh, get out of my what, store. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to figure out what I need to read here. Uh, what books were they? They were Archery and Hunter's Journal. How close am I to finishing those series is, is, is. uh where's archery <gasps> that's the last book of my archery book which is gonna be able to craft bulk arrows and bolts <laughs> oh baby that's a real good time all right very happy with that one hunter's journal still got a couple more to go against deer and humans uh harvest more bones meat and leather for animals okay so this one's gonna be the good one Oh, that, that little fanfare of horns. The brass section lifting for me always gets my titties in a twist. And I'll read you as well. Less exciting, but still exciting all the same. I'll also read you. Except I have to go and activate that somewhere. That was the wrong button. Where are you going to send me? Uh, man, 600 meters away. And relatively on... I mean, it's on the way back to town, I suppose. I might even just hit that before I head down to the winter trade. Because he's just next to the road that actually leads there. I'm at, no, I shall go winter trading, then head across, activate that, then head back home, and we can do some work on the house before the Horde Knight rolls up, rolls up in like a week or so. Did I check the... I didn't even check the secondary super secret double secret stash. Come on, Josh, what are you doing? Uh, inventory, what have you got this time? Anything good in here? No, nothing there. Ooh, August schematic. Yes, yeah, sure, buy that one. Uh, still crossbow bolts, sure. Oh, actually, do I want to buy that one? I've got plenty. I can ma now make uh, bulk of them. Maybe not. All right, never mind then. And AP ammo? No, nothing, nothing great. All right, I'm glad I came back and checked though all the same. But you really didn't tickle my giblets. Oh, shit. That's a real bad time. Right next to the bloody trader. Is someone following me? Make sure I've got my AK just in case. No, no one's coming. That's real inconvenient timing. But I guess, I mean, this didn't happen in the middle of a real big problem. It happened just outside Trade Potato. Refuel you. I just leave the gas on me. That doesn't matter to me too much. Oh, okay. Imagine if, I, imagine if I ran out of gas right in front of a mountain lion. I'd have pooped myself so hard. The mountain lion might have actually left me alone. You know, I would just stink like a big puddle of shit. And he'd be like, mm, you know what? I really don't want my food to soil itself. I might just uh, hey, not buddy. eat this muppet if that's all right with you. you. Uh, what have you got for you me? Here. here we go. I'm still wearing my gogs, so I should have... Oh, bullet tips. There we go. Get some of those. Should have access to the super secret dicky dicky stash. Uh, grab you. Yep, all of that. Anything that goes into, into bullet manufacturing, I'm taking with me. I really wish I knew what like what extra mods I could put into an M60. Yes, it's already full, but I want to swap out some of the more useless ones, like for example the the muzzle break I have on it for something a little better. Electric fence posts that could come in handy for my corridor. Grab you and cobblestone. Yeah, okay. Let's just, let's just grab all of this. All of it's coming with me. Concrete mix. Concrete mix is pretty expensive compared to just like the regular cement. So like, yeah, no, I'll probably leave, like this is the thing, it's like the bullets, you know, I'm not gonna buy the made product. I'd rather buy the components and put it together myself because I have the ability to do that. Let's not just pay money for being lazy. After all, I guess that's what a convenience fee actually is. Uh, nothing else in there. Got any more books for me, mate? I'd love it if you did. Electric wire relays. Uh, I'll take you because I like having them just in case. More electric fence posts, I'll take those ones. SMG turrets. God, ooh, another book. Okay, yep, but anyway, even, that's the most useless book series, but I like having them anyway. I like just checking those things off my list. And that's about it. All right, I'll check your not-so-secret stash, but that's, uh, I mean, not, not awful, but not great either. So Grandpa's Forget and Elixir is 30 grand. I only have 20, well, just over 20 now, because I spent like $8,000 today, but that's okay. Um, that's gonna, I mean, I kind of want to respec a bunch of my stuff because I've wasted points here and there, but everything's kind of come together to make me a pretty formidable force in the apocalypse. I'm not too, I'm not chomping at the bit to go out else, there and potentially, um, the you know, ruin my good setup i got going on right now. I did buy this, so I'll read that book. All right, I think we're done for the day. Let's start heading back home. Thank you, all the tradies. I do actually, I, I was thinking to myself that I kind of hate how, you know, every three days you get new stock at the traders because they say we get new stock daily. Like, that's one of the lines that the traders say. So it's kind of annoying that they don't do that. But at the same time, like, if you, like, kind of, you know, work to a schedule, you, like, kind of set up your week properly, it actually works out really well. You know, you spend three days um, going about your business and, like, ticking off the quests and doing all that kind of stuff. You only have to go to the tradies, like, you know, when they restock, and then you can catch all your quests. So it actually works out pretty well if you're much better than I am and actually work yourself through a routine. 
But yeah, I mean, it, it has its pros and cons, but I think it's good this way. Here it is. Now, I think I have a Nancy chasing me, which I'm kind of not too pleased about. You're still coming over the hill. No, you're looking all right. Okay, let's just quickly activate that. Jump on the bike. Catch you later, everyone. Run over a couple of them just for good measure, because why not? Get him skewered on the forks in the front of my bike and take off back home again. So what have we got? Infected Survivor, Festering Cadaver, Bloated Walker, Rotting Carcass, uh, Reanimated Corpse. That uh, doesn't seem too bad. I was impressed, though. I was, like, actually driving through those trees just using my peripherals. I was reading something off the screen, and I managed to avoid every kind of nook and cranny there. I run into shit when I'm actually driving properly and paying attention. Don't know how I managed to do that one. That was, I'm, um, oh, it's a minefield. Oh, my God. Oh, it was almost all over right then and there. I was just careening happy as Larry, cruising through a field, coming up on a goddamn minefield around that military base. Josh, you were just talking about how you drove so well when you weren't actually watching. Then you started watching again and almost got yourself killed. Maybe I just shouldn't watch anymore. Maybe I should drive like this from now on. This is how I'm going to do it. Yep, this is how I drive all the time. Pull up into the base. I love that garage door. It makes me so bloody happy. All right, do you have anything in you that you put back? I need to put you back in there. I'll swap the Magnum out for my machete again. I only really need the Magnum when I'm going trading potato hing. I'm not doing that right now. All right, let's Oh, God, it's so bright with that bloody chlamydia mod going on. It's really bloody cornea burning. All right, here we go. Let's grab you. Oh, -ho -ho! there it is, lads. There fuck it is. In fact, what am I putting all you in there for? That's not where your crafting's from. I think I have some more left over up here. Grab all you guys. Okay, I need... Do I just need, like... Oh, here we go. Box to 7.62. 100 of those. What's my limiting factor here? Gunpowder is my limiting factor. I only just got enough to make a box of it. I can't quite afford to make a box of APs, though. So I'll just make a box of regular. So it's going to be 100, 100 bullets as opposed to the... 89 I could make normally. All right, that's a real good deal. Thank God I found that book. Craft that. Thank you very much. Gonna take four minutes, but that's all right. Grab that crossbow. Let's uh, let's do some mixing and matching. So yesterday I was roll rolling around with a completely different setup to what I got now, but that's all right. Sometimes you're just gonna upgrade. You're gonna move up, and it'll sometimes I cross in the world. Uh, I don't have any more mods to put on you. What other mods can I put onto a compound crossbow, actually? This is the thing. I'm trying to find my, like what mods go onto what thing. I'm not having a whole lot of luck with it. Put you back down there. Make sure you are locked and loaded with steel ammo. There we go. So, yeah, the crossbow now does more damage. The AK does more damage. Everything I've got should be doing more damage. Modify... Still, still can't, still can't put on that bloody scope. Still can't put on the bloody scope. Well, what can I put on? I mean, the iron sights on the M60 are good, but I want them to be better. Put the money back in my sellables box. Yeah, look at that. I've got all like the like the high tier stuff all just left in there for a rainy day. I could have gone and sold it for more dollar dues, but there's mod slots left over, so I'll wait for a rainy day to use that. Although now that I've got Look, I've got these two scopes here and some weapons that might want them. So let's get you and you. Let's just modify you to put you... Oh, you've got a sight on you, though. All right, never mind then. What about you? You've got a sight on you. All right, then never mind. Okay, cool. I'll just like, keep them in there then for a rifle that, or a gun that has a rainy day. I can bang it on there and cheer it up a little bit. Um, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah. Okay, let's, uh, let's put this stuff back in this box so I don't lose it. That's, um... That's a pretty successful little run. It's only, what, half past three in the afternoon. We've already done a lot today. Get the forge turned back on, making me all the forge steel I possibly can. You are out of iron, buddy, but I should have some more somewhere to put in you. Not none in there. Am I out of iron? Uh, that's a pretty basic resource for me to run out of. I scrap everything over my so I should have lots of it. Have I just, like, accidentally thrown a pile of 6,000 on the ground or something and now I've lost it forever? That's not particularly great, Josh. That's pretty poor form from you. Um, okay, well, you know what? Let's turn you off for a second. I don't want you wasting fuel. I need to put some iron in you to burn down. What can I put in there that's going to give me some iron? There's got to be something around here. What have I done with everything? I honestly have no idea, so I'm hoping I can just put... Yes, I can just put in some knives into there. Get those smelting away. Get some iron out of those. At least I'm not completely wasting everything. So I now have, like, a minute to go and get myself some more iron. Well, there should be a node out there somewhere. Let's just take a moment, run out of here... Go searching through. What am I doing? I've got a motorcycle for a regular Josh. Grab you. Let's just go backwards out the door because I can't go forwards anymore because I don't have a door on the other side yet. Oh, well, you know what? There's one right there. All right, don't even worry about it. Let's grab the auger. Let's summon where the right dogs. Grab you. I don't have any gasoline. Okay, motorcycle. Oh my god, door. Can you shut up? For goodness sake, I'm three feet out. You don't need to open already. Shut up. As most of the sensors are way too sensitive. Here we go. Get a bunch of this. I've got like 50 seconds to have to go back inside and put all this into the forge. Oh man, I can't have run out of iron. That's, I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Running out of gasoline. Oh, there it is. All right, I got, uh, what, 7,000 iron out of that. 
So I got a nice little hole for myself and no screamers showed up, which is always appreciated. Ah, uh, oh, for goodness sake. All right, fine. I'll just big out of the bottom then. Up we go. Nerd polling is the is the strategy of kings. Oh my God, don't fall off, please. After talking about how I was going to use this to get out of a hole, don't put back into the hole. That is less than ideal. Up we go. There we go. Up to the top. And that has a secondary benefit of me being able to close off this hole because it's right outside my door as the door opens, so you can tell. I don't want to accidentally drive into that one point and put my motorcycle at the bottom of the goddamn Pit. Seriously, door. Seriously, I finally show up to use you after you opening and closing like the legs of Arlene in a cowboy festival, and then you close in my face. Guess you really are like Arlene, and I'm gonna have to rename you just Arlene the door. Um, just please don't open for a cowboy, for God's sake. Don't let a cowboy in my base. You let a cowboy into your heart. Don't let a cowboy into my base. Here we go. You go in there. In fact, I need to. Let's just go like that. Whatever. That's kind of close enough to half. Restock on the iron. I've got a fair amount of clay left in there. I just need to get you going again to make myself some more steel. That is cooking away. It's now, it's 10 to 6 at night. So it's a little bit late for me to go on a raid. I had kind of planned to go over and redo that military base because I have another quest to do that one. For that just reminded me, I didn't get a new quest from old matey up there. I'll have to do that tomorrow, I suppose. Or at least when I go back there in a couple of days. So maybe I'll leave that for tomorrow. Give myself a full day to raid through there. And what I'll do tonight. Something else I've been planning to do for a little while. Make sure everything here is nice and loaded. Yes, we are. Still need to replace that base back with the spear whenever I manage to find a decent one. I need... Is it in here? Yes, this is. I need all of you. In fact, let's get all of this stuff as well. Take all of that. Uh, don't have a lot of sand. I can make some more sand. I've got lots of things downstairs to do it with. Don't need the cobble. I'm going to go out and I'm going to upgrade the pylons underneath the killing corridor. I have some big plans for the top of the killing corridor, but the structure underneath still needs to be sound. Let's go in here. It's all oh good. I've got more cement now. I've got so much cement on me. It's not even funny. 201. Sure. Make that. Can I also make a whole bunch of crushed sand? 6,000 is probably a bit excessive. Let's just go... Let's go 3,000, because 3,000 sand will go with the 3,000 uh, stones that I have, and that'll make me a nice lot of, uh, of concrete mix. There we go, all in that in there. Got another stack of you, why not? Let's put you in there too. All right, all of my concrete making materials are in that cement mixer, ready for that cement mixer later on down the track. Okay, that's done. Where is my uh, my nail gun? Where did I leave it in here? I think there it is. Grab you, put the auger away for the moment. Let's go up. Oh, it's my SMG I sort of come That's okay. It's back in that box. Let's go upgrade some of this nonsense. It's like things like this. Yeah, I couldn't do it before the horde showed up. We're in the right goggles. Yes, I am. Couldn't do it before the horde showed up. But now that I've got a little bit of time for this to actually set and dry, good time for me to come out and start doing it. There's a little bit of damage on the actual shoot part down here, so I might even upgrade this to be reinforced as well. I don't think I've got enough uh, concrete mix to do all of it. In fact, I think I could upgrade like 15 of these things I think I had enough for. Might become, get kind of close. I've got a little bit more concrete mixing down below. Oh, actually, I think I might do the whole thing. Come on, get there. Just a couple more, baby. Two more. Oh, perfect. How much have I got left over? Oh, 140. Actually, I got more than I thought I did. So that can all be reinforced concrete as well, which will be a good thing uh, later on down the track. I'm going to save the last of this because I went and got some more cobblestone. Because see how that's that tall and this is that tall? This one is not the same height, which is getting all my tits. Let's upgrade you to be the same. I have to come back and upgrade you to reinforce when you're dry again. But there we go. The weakest parts of my base, especially this bit here, are now strong again. That's good. In fact, if I just... There's still a different- it was just my eyes. I can't tell. It looks like that one's gone up a bit higher than those two. But maybe I'm just imagining things. I'm gonna put the last of my concrete into the actual like half pipe kind of part where all the zombies do come down. Because some of these blocks you can see there do get a little bit damaged here and there. There we go. That looks good. I went and got some more concrete. Got 10 more. Who, who wants to be the lucky boy who's going to get upgraded? Anyone here? You're all looking a bit average, but you can go up to cobblestone. There you go. So can all of you guys. You're all in like important parts. I may as well get you relatively strong. Don't have to be as hard as reinforced concrete, but some strength there won't go amiss. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just save that last 10 concrete. There's more work to be done. Like, I've got to get up here. I'm not going to upgrade all of this because I have to dig all of this bit here out and replace that with garage doors so I can put the barbed wire underneath. But that is a rather big job. You can get upgraded, though, because the walls are going to stay there. How are we looking now? All of it's gone. Yes, it is. 
Oh, okay. Well, this has been a good day for me. Like, it's, it's very rare I get to do, like, two things in one day because I usually get distracted and then just, like, focus on raiding and killing zombies. But today, I've managed to do two things I wanted to do and not go toggling off and decide that I'm going to waste my time doing something that's not important. I completely forgot. I've got 116 steel arrowheads just chilling out in here. But I can make I can make bulk arrowheads now. Where's my polymers? I think that's what I'm going to need. Uh, bolts. Here we go. What do you need? What do I need? Oh, look, a box of steel crossbow bolts. Just polymers and steel arrowheads. Don't even need a shaft on those bad boys. That's how freaking hard they hit. No wood involved. That shaft is all make-believe. It's just the bolt head and some little feathery bits coming out the back. And that's apparently, it's basically a bullet, I suppose, at that point. Uh, all right, well, let's put you over into here. Let's get you crafting in this bit as well. All my ammo is getting crafted here just so it doesn't, like, you know, tie up my actual crafting space. What more do I need? I need more... The like, polymers aren't even the big deal there. Oh, she's actually, actually, I'm like a, a third of the way to the next box. But a third of the way on steel arrowheads as well. Okay, interesting. I'll just use the rest of those to craft like that. That'll be fine. Okay, I can put the rest of you up in there. I'll come back and get you another day. There it is coming up Josh House. I like this. Before I forget, I need to make myself the next uh, automated garage door as well for the other side. No point me digging out a hole in my wall and making a new force field and doing all that nonsense if I don't have a door to put in its place. I want my pass-through garage going. Got to get it done at some point. What more do I need for that actually? Uh, garage door, garage door powered, springs and electrical parts. Okay, I should have those. Springs and electrical parts. I, I wish someone please make a search bar or something for these boxes. Because every time I'm like kind of scanning all of this, I just like my eyes just kind of see crap rather than what I'm actually looking for. I never actually managed to figure out what, I, what I'm what I'm getting. I need seven more electrical parts. All right, do I have any torches I can scrap somewhere? Yes, I do. Uh, how much do I get out of each of you? Three, six. I'm one electrical part shy. Because of course I am. Because the game's just like, hey, you know that thing you want? Well, how about? You're gone. I'm hoping that maybe scrapping one of these things will give me one more electrical part out of you, maybe. No, it's funny. Why? Why is an electrical wire like giving me iron? In fact, you know what? I think I just have to. Do I have my wrench on me? I do. I think I'm gonna have to just quickly jump on the bike and uh, go out and just quickly find any sort of POI that has something electrical that I can um uh, I can break down and get some parts out of. Unless there's a car or something nearby, I think they get some electrical parts. Anything at all, anything that has any copper wiring, I need it because I mean having to reverse out of my home every time is getting real tedious and annoying. Where's all the cars? Where's the car park? There's one right there. Okay, I hope you've got what I need. I'm desperate. I'm begging. I'm pleading. Please grab you. Swap you out for that one. Okay, what have you got? Give me any electrical parts. Any? No? 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 Oh, for goodness sake. You better give me something. You better give me something, you sausage. Oh, come on! I think those bars, like the wires on the side of the wall there, I think they give me some electrical parts, but I, would, I know there's some Muppets that are usually asleep in here. Uh, yep, there he is. Okay, I can't see his head, which is a little bit unfortunate. All right, crossbow, here you go. Time to shine. The first shot with the new crossbow is going to go right in the dick of old man out there. Ah, uh, that's, that's right in the left nut. That's probably not that bad. That one was right in the scone. All right, I don't care if you've got your sweet mining helmet on anymore, buddy. You just got messed up. You've already been here. Okay, I need to get these. Are you going to give me electrical parts? No, I thought you did. Oh my god, well there's a lot of console. There we go, one electrical part. We got what I need, thank god. I was gonna say, at least there's a lot of consoles and stuff in here I can break down and get some parts from. I may as well do it now I'm here anyway. God, all of this just to get one piece of copper wire. That's a lot of effort. Oh. That's a, uh, that's a spider zombie. Where did you come from, buddy? I mean, I appreciate you sticking your head through the bars like an easy shot. That's a nice little snapshot too. First kill with the AK. Just easy as that. Feels good, man. Feels good. I might actually have a chance of using that and not being a complete clown if I keep up that kind of shooting form. So that was a regular spider zombie, which I was just thinking to myself like last uh, the other night. So you know how in the Horde night I was getting nothing but um radiated spiders? Well, that was a regular spider. So now look, head, uh, kill spiders on one out of three. Before it was zero because a radiated spider doesn't count as an actual spider zombie. So we've got one of those and it's now night time as well, so more of them are probably spawning around the place. Have I been inside you? I've not been inside you. Now that I'm here, I may as well get inside all of these things. Put on my looting shades. Got my flock picks. Yes, I do. Let's just break into here. I'm here now. What's the worst going to happen? Another spider? Someone's going to stick his head through the bars and give me an easy kill? That's fine with me. Oh, shotgun! But it's only a tier two. Oh, it's my first ever find of an oh shit shotgun in a random little safe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's so tempting though. I mean, 
but the AK is so good. Like the shotgun, I'll, I'll hold on to it just in case because you never know. Would have loved it. That was a tier five or a tier six. The AK would have been used, uh, found, used, and retired all in one day, but it wasn't to be. It gets to stay with me for a little bit longer. And even then, like, you know, do I do I actually want to change over from the AK with its rapid fire goodness? Look at all the electrical parts to get out of this, by the way. That's a fair chunk. But what's inside? Is it more of these? This might just be, like, a pile of good stuff you can harvest. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. Would, uh... It is all of those. Okay. Would, uh... Would changing over to the shotgun be actually a good idea, though? Because, like, having that automatic fire would probably be a pretty good idea. There's bouncing exclamation mark. No one else is around. Take my frames back. You know what? I don't, I don't really know. It could, it could go either way. It could be a really good thing to go to the shotgun because, like, you know, someone gets close and I can just, like, deprive them of carrying around their head anymore. Or, you know, if there's a big group of them, just, like, having the sights at head height and just kind of soaring through people. That seems like a much better way to do it. I don't know. There's pros and cons to both sides of that world. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Home sweet home. Jump back up here. All right, you, if you're already crafting my bolts, lovely dovely, you need to craft me my steel powered garage door. Craft that as well. 16 minutes to make one of those. It's a pretty hefty ask, but that's okay. Okay, you, put the shotgun away. Put the shotgun shells away. Look at all the shotgun shells I've got here just begging to be used, and I've finally got something that's kind of tempting to use it, which means I definitely don't need either of you anymore. You can go into sellables box to sell a bit later. I, uh, I've got some more iron on me, so you can go into there to keep on crafting away. Make sure you've got some fuel you just stopped them that's all right forge steel make a whole bunch more of those i just want the actual forge steel blocks i mean i don't have many i can make more later on if i need to but having them on me you know i'm never upset by having a supply of the harder materials to get well, there you go, guys. That is the end of another day. A pretty good day. Tradies had some stuff that I wanted and I needed, and I finished off another couple of series, which is pretty good. I can make myself. I haven't done it yet, but, like, ghillie suits are now an option for me. They don't actually do anything. I tested this when they first came out, because, like, ghillie suits seem awesome. Imagine me, I just, like, crouch down in the shrubbery and let, like, a wandering horde just pass you by. That doesn't work at all, which is very upsetting. The zombies still see you just like normal. A ghillie suit can greatly reduce your visibility when outdoors to, and, to some degree, indoors. Not so sure about that. If I could see the stats on what you are, I might be a little bit more tempted. If I have 50 plant fibers and sewing kits, let's just see what the stats are actually going to be. Plant fibers, sewing kits. Let's make ourselves a full suit of ghillie. Why not? Oh, only a minute on each one. You know what? I'm not going to wrap up the episode yet. Let's see what the ghillie suit does. And if I want to cruise around from now on just wearing a shrub, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Got all the forges running. Make myself a big stack of bullet cases. I'll need them sooner or later as well. In fact, what comes after that? Bullet tips, I think. Can I make you two? How many of you can I make? 1,500. Probably need that many. Let's just go. Let's go a cheeky thousand. Yeah, it seems a bit more reasonable. You're going to need another 16 minutes. Let's load you up. So what's that? 23, 39. 39 minutes worth of forge fuel. That'll do just there. Take one of those frames back. Now, I know you don't have, like, the frames don't give you an advantage anymore, but I quite like it anyway. That's a wandering horde outside my doors again. All right, everyone, look. Everyone, come with me. Here we go. Everyone, oh, it's a cut. It's a biker horde. The biggest and baddest of the hordes. Excuse me, coming through. Anyone else out here? Oh, yeah, there's one Muppet on my walls. Oi, dickbag, get off my wall. Oh, don't go through the garage door. Come over this way. I'm home like a hare in a dog race. It's cruising around. This is why steel armor and wouldn't be a good idea. I need to be able to move quick for a lot of the stupid shit that I do. So, like, steel armor, yes, will stop you dying straight when you get punched in the face. But I would have died many, many times there because one of those idiots would have touched me. I would have been crippled and I never would be able to, like, recover again. And that would have been all over for me. Look at that. I can just get easy, easy peasy experience. It's by murdering a bunch of Jeffreys. Wow, the biker helmets are apparently really strong. Congratulations on getting apparently the best head protection for when you come off your bike when you're trying to weave through traffic like the clowns that you are. All right, you go down. How's my gear list going, by the way? I can hear shit beating on stuff. All right, so I'll tell what, what's, what's the actual stats? Visibility minus 7%. All right, so they might actually have a, uh, a, a benefit to that then. Not the boots because I'm wearing my super sneaky uh, stealth boots. Oh, there's no boots on there. Now that one you have to come back in the car, just a pile of bodies there. That's the nice thing about a good horde base. Like living in a nice horde base, when, the, like when you have a separated a horde fighting platform and the base you live in, then like, you know, you hear the wandering horde and you panic because like, what, what are you gonna do? How the hell are you gonna manage that? You gotta like kind of run to the horde base then fight. When it's all integrated into one, it's much easier. How are we looking? How are we looking now? <laughs> That looks ridiculous when you least expect it. A goddamn tree is going to kill you.
Yeah, see, I just don't think I just don't think it's worth it. You know, like minus what 14 or 20, 21 percent visibility, which I don't even know, is that even a metric that gets tracked? I don't even know. But I'm sacrificing my inventory space, and I'm also sacrificing a lot of my uh, thermal resistance and stuff as well. So I put all you guys back on. The ghillie suit is nice, but probably not. You know, what would be nice if I had a freaking armor stand or something to decorate this place with. I could decorate the bush in the corner of my house, but that is not to be, not today, nor probably ever. Maybe in Alpha, Alpha 19. Let's get you, let's open you. Nice fat stack of bolts, put you back in there for later days. Alright, there we go. So, that is actually going to be the end of the day now. I'm going to spend the next couple of hours just down in my nitrate powder mine underneath the base. I need more of that to make myself more gunpowder. I've got everything else in ammo crafting world going on. I need some more nitrate, but I'll have to do that before I come back for the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.